The observer would like to advise that the following video comes with a trigger warning. The content in this video is of a sensitive nature, so please beware that the topic of this video may trigger you. The observer recommends that you consider your own mental health before you watch this video. To go into someone that can't even fucking feed themselves. It's not a fucking joke! Sorry, I'm so angry. Amen to that. Guys, I'm so sorry, like, my mum passed away last year from cancer, bro. Oh. And it's not a joke, like, having to feed your mother, having to dress your mother, take her to the toilet, tell her that it's okay, get vomiting buckets for her, like, it's fucking hard, it's disgusting, and it wasn't a fucking night, it's nothing to joke about. Like, what the fuck? Nah, big love to you, Tori, and man, that must be so hard for you to listen to. Mm -hmm. Like, honestly, it's not nice, man. Unless you've been through it, you don't fucking know. And I'm not just talking. Oh, Did you get bananas? No. Yeah, she's got bananas. Hi, Is everybody. Uh, Stop reporting in the I'm comments. What's wrong with you all? Like, if, 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 if people are in here supporting Angie, like, come on. Let's do not report. I am so not reporting Angie. I have breast cancer. I am absolutely disgusted. <laughs> What I heard yesterday. I'm so sorry, Louise. It really triggered me. Oh, um, my first chemo, I ended up in hospital with septis. Yesterday, I was so upset yesterday. I've come on TikTok. I came on TikTok when I ended up having breast cancer because I can't work because I've been too ill. And so. Obviously, it's supposed to be like a fun app and this, that and the other. And obviously, there is drama and I get that and I've stayed out of drama. I'm not friends with, you know, Angie and a few others or anything like that. Um, that triggered me and I'm a strong woman. That triggered me yesterday and my hair was falling out yesterday. That was the uh, cancer isn't scary for me. It was my hair falling out. How sad is that? I don't know, but I've just always stayed tried to stay positive even though it's I've been so ill from it but that's triggered me that is bad she should not be on this app at all I think she this really is shouldn't true. be on this app at all for doing something like that for all the families that are suffering because it's not just the cancer patients that suffer you're right you know it's the families as well that love them guys this is what happens do you know what i mean like you don't understand like how your words can affect people and look this is the after effect of somebody being drunk and just trying to take the piss and then passing it off as dark humor like look at this lady that is not bad humor There's, there, there is humor and we all have humor but that was just sick humor and for all them cancer people out there i'm so sorry you had to listen to that as well because honestly that was a massive trigger for a lot of people last night a lot of people and thank you for allowing me to come up and and say this too because i needed to do that too well, easy can stay up honestly like just don't I know it's hard for people to say, like, especially me, because obviously I've had family members and fa friends gone through it, but I've never been through it myself. However, I can empathise with you. With you. Mm. It's not just the cancer patients that go through it. It's actually our family members as well, the ones that love us. Exactly. As well. Um, and, you know, I don't know, you know, I'm speaking for myself, but you know i have got support i have got lovely family and i've got good friends which i'm grateful for but you still feel alone um but that 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 was just another level last night um mm -hmm. she said some bad things in the past but that is another level and to say it was bad humor no that's a, just a disgrace for everybody
say one thing to someone in the comments quickly, Charlie Ann, because she's saying that we've all scammed, you've all said the worst things on the app. Respectfully, Charlie, this ain't the time to come and defend Angela. If you don't like what we're saying, get the fuck out. It's that role. It's not no tit for tat. Oh, that person said that. Person. It's not. You don't like to do that all the time. We're not talking about what other people have said. We're talking about this woman and what she said yesterday. And the fact that you've even got Palestinian flags by your name, but this woman has sat and said the most craziest things about Palestine and you're in here defending her. Shut up and keep it stepping. You can see Louise is fucking upset. We don't need your comments. And you know, you know, the worst thing is, Charlie, I had never even seen the Palestine um, live that she did all her, her, the dog thing until Levi played it on his um, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. I first met her with the whole Palestine thing. That's yeah, it was for a while. When she said about, yeah, I, I didn't actually see the whole video. I was I was shocked. When it, it, that was the video you were showing when she went for me in the comments. Mm. I'm sorry Louise. about your mum as well, Torian. Know. You know, I get you with the sickness and the rest of it. Honestly, I, I'm so sorry. No, I feel right. This is so upsetting to even hear. Do you know what I mean? Like, I two people in my life that have had it recently with breast, breast cancer. I don't even want to talk about it. Do you understand what I mean? Because we, I haven't spoke about it on this app. Do you understand? And um, one of my sisters going through it right now. And, the, the pain that she goes through, the heartache, she's got children, bro, and she's got a family, and for for a woman like her, such a bottom barrel woman, to go against somebody be with cancer, or to even mention that word, she has no fucking right. Do you understand me? Louise, I'm so sorry what you're going through. I, I can kind of understand a little bit, you know, I'm seeing what my sister's dealing with, and and what my friend was dealing with. Do you understand? And I'm just listening to you. I'm shaking. I'm, thank you, and I appreciate it. No, um, I it is hard. I mean, shaking. I had the mastectomy. I can't, I can't have You've it done rebuilt. It. Well done, Louise. Well done. My, <coughs> um, my sister's at the end of the month. She's got to have hers. And, like, you know she's what's so It's cancer awareness this week on the 18th yeah. or Friday. It is, yeah. I was about to say that. It well, is. I've, got, I've got my chemo again tomorrow and I'm absolutely petrified I'm because I'm not, that scared really. that the chemo is going to kill me more than the cancer. That's how sad it That's is for me because of my first mm -hmm. time getting septic and ending up in hospital. Yeah. So, you know, and like I come on TikTok because obviously I, I can't work. I wish I could. And it does help you, know. you get through when you're that sick, like with my sister as well, like she'll come on TikTok and it's kind of a way to kind of just get away a little bit and because it's that's not nice. And Louise, what you've gone through, that's you, correct. Got, you are a warrior. The fact that you've gone through all of that and you've gone through the operation and you've you've come out the other side to come and tell your story. Just remember <laughs> how great you are. Do you hear me? Thank you. Just I mean, how great you are. Because, you know, it's still a long haul. I've got eight months of chemo and then uh, three weeks solid of radiotherapy really, really to go okay. through. Have you got um, support around you? So I've, you know, it's a long journey, but um, what she's done yesterday was disgusting for all of us. Not just ca cancer patients, but all of us, I think. Um, do you know what I mean? Because that was just. Yeah. Louise, I've got honestly. no words. I, I really ain't. Well, just remember, fair. Louise, she's bottom barrel. So do not let that woman affect you. Do you understand me? You are it's much, so you are difficult when uh, that happened yesterday. It's like I said, I am, I am a warrior. I am strong. I am positive as well. That's why I've been able to. I'm, I'm glad get you've through everything. But you that also are allowed, me. Louise. Uh, you know what, um, Louise? I'm glad you've come up and showed people like people's words and stuff affects. Um, it doesn't matter. You know, you might think nobody in your room cares, and it's just um, a banter. But for people who are going through it and families who are affected, um, people like you need to speak up. So to show people, you can't say this shit. <clears throat> Help me agree, top girl. You, you can't be saying this because you know. It does affect us. All she knows us. a lot of people are watching, Louise. She knows, you know? She knows everyone's watching her. She knows that. She wants this, the outrage. This is what's horrible, you know? Yeah, she but wants that's... the outrage. She likes it. She ain't got nothing to lose. Remember that, Louise. She ain't got no family. That She ain't got no kids. She ain't got nothing to lose. So when she comes on here, she's bottom barrel. She's bottom barrel every day she lives. And you are, not, you are nowhere near her. In, I just do don't me? understand how people can su actually support her. Do you know? It's, yeah. That's mind-boggling as well. 
Um, beyond me, beyond me at the minute. I yeah. used to go in a box just to like give my opinion, but I won't even do that anymore. Yeah, no, I mean, like, I'm I'm not going to speak again after this today uh, because I'm not going to give her the airtime that, you know, she doesn't deserve it. But... Oh, I'm sorry, Louise. I just want to give you a hug, honestly. My Louise, my DMs are always open for you, so just... And it's not a game of stop. Anytime. Oh, no. Thank you, everybody. I'm going to drop down and, thank you know... You, Louise, oh, thank you, Louise, so much. Thank you. And I'm in the box, Levi. You're and, sending uh, you love and light, Louise, for all your chemo and all your radiotherapy and... Thank you're gonna, you. You're going to do this and just remember. You're going you to smash it, Louise. And you just and remember, you don't so... have to always be strong, okay? You can't, don't have to always be strong, okay? Sorry, Levi, can yeah. you, there's a, an account that says Kev pred his mum or something, yeah. or niece, sorry. Can we get rid of that account because they're disrespecting oh, okay. Claudia's dad? Sorry, guys. Hey, uh, mum, sorry. They're going so Thanks. fast. Thanks. Thanks. I'm going to drop, but Louise, I'm sending all my love out to you, my darling. I hope everything goes well for you. Um, everyone else, big love. Don't let Angie bring you down. Thank yeah. you so much, Louise. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Louise. you, everybody. Thank you, Levi. Have a nice day. I appreciate it. And thank you, everybody in the trap for sending me the love because I do need it. So thank you. I, I, honestly, any one of like people in these comments or this live, like you can, um, you can always come and talk. Levi, one of your mods dropped me. It was me. I forgot. I did it by accident. That's oh, why. Oh, what have I done? I like, no. You talk too much. Shut up. <laughs> no, anyway. I don't talk too much. I'm, I'm joking. I'm, I'm joking. No, I don't. I put I you back on, didn't I? Mm -hmm. I just wanted to make Louise. At the end of the day, like, I, I want Louise, Louise to know from. that she don't have to always be strong. And I think when you've got this <laughs> thing, like, she feels like people feel like you have to be strong. My sister does it. And I want her to know that it's okay not to be okay, Louise. Like, <laughs> this journey is yours. Do you understand? Yeah. Someone, I need to gift her. That number is annoying. Oh, bless you. Yeah, honestly, I, I don't need gifts. It's just sending love is just appreciated and uh, listening to me. Um, so thank you, girls and You guys. can always jump into Levi's it. box. He yeah. he lets anyone up. Like, look, Charlotte's in the box. Yeah, look, Charlotte's in, yeah. Look, she's, just, a, she's a weirdo, man. And there's an account in here, Kesh. Like, Kesh, you are a weirdo, bro. But I've got every little thing you screenshotted, and please believe I've already sent it to the police. And when I find out who you are, I am going to put you on blast. Remember, you're in comments wishing great on my kids, wishing great on me. I've got the screenshots, babe. Yeah? Carry on. Carry on. Weird. I don't understand why people can't get on with each other and just love and peace. I don't get it. But It's so, such a horrible world we live in. Torian clapping need, her hands. We just thinking. all need love and peace. Tori clapping her hands thinking this has took the heat off of her. No, I she's think. not actually, because she came in here. Oh. The first thing she said is what I said was fucking disgusting. Do you understand? So she's not fucking taking the heat off herself anyway. And can we stop deflecting? This lady, Louise, is coming and she's talking about her trauma. And you're deflecting now in the comments. Much guys, and I'm sending all the welcome back to you whenever. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> I didn't drop Torian by the way, guys. Good morning, everyone. Oh, Louise has just popped out. Um, Jane, can you wait your turn? I'm only joking. <laughs> I, I would like to make a suggestion if you just go with me, guys, and listen to it because I look at the illness, I don't look at the person. But do you not think it'd be better if everybody did? awarenesses about cancer and things like that and I'm not saying what you are doing this morning of course you're doing it I'm upset myself my nephew's battled leukemia since the age of one a um, blood cancer and some lovely person from England give him a stem cell from her newborn baby's cord so saved his life so I'm pretty sick this morning as well after watching that last night. It's physically made me sick. But awareness lives would be more better to help the people that's been triggered. Rather than this is yeah. awareness. It is an awareness live. I, I know where you're coming from and I can't really see it on here. Well, um, Jane, if you've got a platform, do you go live? Yeah, I do yeah, go live. Yeah, maybe um, you could do that as well. Like maybe a lot of people can do that. Um, yeah, Levi's well, like, actually done this and a lot of people have come up and spoke and 
it's both about their trauma. It, it, so it's not even that. Pe that's like that's we it. was all just sat here chilling, and people asked him to play the videos and talk about it. So he's not like done it off his own back. Like it, people have come to his life. If he did though, like please, I hate yeah, the selective shit. Thank you, Levi, for doing this. Even thank if you. he did, yeah. This, I'm sorry, whether it's a fucking hate life or an awareness life, it needs to be done. The woman has caused so much fucking trauma for people, respectfully. Like, no one should be coming up on the stage saying, why don't you do this, why don't you do that? If no, you don't, don't like it, just get out of it and done. Yeah, I'm not, can I just say something? I'm going to go, Beauty, are you here? Just I'm going, um, I need to do something, but... Just please try and keep an eye on the comments because some some vile comments. I'll moment. be two seconds, then I'll be in properly. Okay, um, to okay, uh, Levi, do what? Yeah, I'm not saying that, Tori. I'm what I'm actually um, saying is look at the illness. Be two steps ahead rather than ten steps back. Because if you give somebody what they want, it will constantly continue. So what I'm saying is, like, make an awareness more about the situation because everybody's got quite big platforms i've got a small platform so i'm not saying dismiss what happened last night because i'm absolutely sick and looking at it and hearing something in the comments in the box i now know who it was directed at because i was wondering but you've got to look at the illness that's my point I'm, I'm making and understand somebody will go low 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 and even lower in the situation so that's why i'm saying make a more it like that you're not handing somebody something on a plate but making it about the victims that's triggered by the behavior so please don't think i'm saying dismiss the behavior last night but if you're handing it on a plate then you're giving that person exactly what they want but Jane, this is a thing. This is why at the end of the month we're saying about this blackout. And I think coming up to the blackout, we need to really highlight the reasons why we want this blackout to be a thing. Blackout coin. Can we hear? Who knows more about this blackout? Because it's know. happening at the end of October. It's the yeah. last week of October. So that will be on the <laughs> two week, a week and a bit. On the twenty fifth, I think Friday. Yeah, twenty fifth. Okay. okay, cool. And until then, the situation is going to get pretty, pretty bad. But remember, a big platform, somebody's supporting that big platform, they're not going to black it out. Jane? Yeah? I, I respect what you're saying. I get every point you're making. But I think what the little points that you're missing is the people that are actually coming into the live, they're not trying to direct hate. They're people that's directly affected by what this woman has said. And they're not trying to hate on her, they're just passionate about what they're speaking about. And whether that comes across in maybe anger or upset or any other form, it's their way of expressing how they feel at that moment in time. And okay. I think we should respect that person that's coming up and speaking about how this has directly affected them. Thank you, Kimmy. Thank you. Kimmy. 100%, Kimmy, 100%, and I'm with you on that. But there's only so much I can see on this platform due to what I work at. And this is where we've all got one our own person, this is, There's one person this is directed at, okay? But it's affecting the whole app. Now, I mean, the one person that, that last night was directed at it, it is the illness. You've got to look at the illness. That's all I can say, guys, because I might be saying something that is looking like I'm, I'm not say that basically the more we give it light the more she likes that base the more we talk about it the more she feeds off it kind of thing yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. okay yeah. that means a hundred the thing is she's got a big scale of people that watch her jane and it affects a lot of people and what levi's done today i've come in and i sat for a little while and i watched it and this is why i jumped up in the box because a lot of people telling this story and it's that's now shown that Levi's given them a space to be able to open up and talk and express what they're going through. Do you understand? So Jane, what Levi's done today is nothing wrong. If you want to do that on your platform, great. Maybe well, you need to go live today else. and do a cancer awareness live because if everyone took their platforms and done what Levi's done today, maybe people like that wouldn't do this. I think it's amazing. Instead of trying to come up here and tackle yeah. Levi, can I talk please? Instead of coming up here and tackling Levi and tackling everybody about what they're doing or what they're talking about, at the end of the day, Angie said it. She said it. It's out there now. So if people want to talk about it, it's TikTok. 
you understand? If, um, if Levi don't want to do in a full awareness, he doesn't have to. Who, what he's doing right now is giving people a voice. It's enough. Yeah, Stop you're trying to make people you're do what you think is right. That's why you have your own platform, Jane. No, you're taking this totally the wrong way. But right, I'm Charlotte, I don't think she's trying to pull yeah. Levi down. I think she's just trying to express that she believes it could have been done in a different kind yeah, of I know, way. I know, I know that, yeah, exactly. It's just happened. It's just what, happened. What's Levi's yeah. done this morning is amazing because exactly. Levi's come up and, and said her story, so you're just trying to jump on something that's not actually what I'm saying. What I'm actually saying and I'm directing it to one person that's in the box, and I hope they pick up on it. There's only one person that that was directed at last night, and you've got to study the illness. I'm not saying what Levi's doing this morning is wrong. What I am saying is thousands of people were affected last night. Thousands of people. My inbox was full of people wanting to do things to themselves because they were affected by the behaviour last night. Yeah, And I'm not saying don't talk about it or don't mention it. What I'm saying, it would be better if it didn't give the person exactly what they wanted and there was more awareness, like, of the behaviour. So I might be directing it wrong, Charlotte, and you're picking it up wrong, but I'm definitely not saying Levi's doing wrong in this, in this chat this morning. Yeah, maybe I was taking on, but I just feel like yeah. it's so hard when you haven't been through it to I hold that and I'm deal with yeah, that, do you know what I mean? This, I have, I've nursed my grandma today. Four years wow. ago. See, you, you know exactly what people and are going through. And I said at the beginning, my 10 year old nephew has battled it since one. Before. And the only thing that saved his life three years ago was. Wait, Jane, who would you direct it to? Me? I, I can't, I cannot direct it to one person in the call, I just, in the box. I just hope the person that understands what I'm trying to say to them. I just hope that the person can pick up. Wait, I'm confused. Yeah. I, I legally can't say, yeah. But legally just, can't say what? I'm confused. Yeah. I because of my job I legally can't say. All I can say to everybody in this chat right now is look at the illness and understand there'll be more to come because the person feels like the world is against them right now. So the ones that she feels is against them right now, she will go low and she will go lower. Because what has she got to lose? I'm confu I'm so confused. Can you just say who you're talking about? Because I, I can't. No, I'm sorry. Jane, Jane, can I ask? Are you trying to say that what what Angie was saying last night is directly directed to somebody in the boxes? What I will say is, when I sat back and watched the live, I thought, right, who who has pushed her this far and directed her? Like, are you, are you saying that she's talking about me? No. So what? I'm. I legally can't. I'll probably put my phone Yes, in. she's, she's in, indirectly telling you, Torian. I'm indirectly um, saying that, that somebody that hurts somebody with that illness, yeah, and I'm not saying it's one person, there, there's a couple of people probably that has done it lately, that hurts somebody with that illness, it's not like you're walking up and hurting me where I can take responsibility and say, well, what she's just said is 100% wrong and I don't agree with that and I'm going to stand up. But it looks like everybody's against one person right now, and that person is coming back, and the illness will make her or go lower and lower and lower. What and illness will make her go lower? And lower? It's too early for riddles. Um, I, don't, I don't know what she's talking so, about. I think, I think it, the person I, I, in question has a mental health problem. I'm going to say that I pushed Angie to say those things. No, yeah. no. This is what I thought she was See, saying. This is the whole problem. That's what yeah, that's what I thought. That's why I went for it. Kind of thing, no, but I'm taking it how you're explaining it, darling. But you're not being I'm straightforward. Maybe I'm explaining it wrong. Maybe I'm explaining it wrong. Maybe, like, maybe Jane, just I would just stop because if you can't yeah, speak about so. it, there's no yeah. point going on and on because it's just going to confuse and people are going to pick it up wrong. And yeah, the basics of the story I'm trying to say is, is look into the illness and see what you're up against first before. Because yeah, this is a thing we're struggling to understand. We're not 100% sure into what aspect of illness you're speaking about. Are you speaking about Angie's mental health? Are you talking yeah. about the big C? Are you talking no, no, about... No, I'm talking about... I'm talking about borderline personality disorder. Look into it and, and understand... Jane, I've got it. Hey, can I just say something, yeah? What we're not going to do... On, on this, we're not going to excuse her behaviour by I'm thinking... That, wait, hold on, one second, one second. We're not going to excuse her behaviour by giving her diagnosis when we're not doctors. If she feels she's got BPD or any of these things, 
go to the fucking doctor. You're pushing exactly. fifty. You don't come on TikTok do better. And it. She lied. Let's read. No, let's really fucking get into it. You yeah? think I would do this that? This woman <sighs> came on the fucking app and lied to every single one of you and said that she's going to rehab. Yeah, to sort out her mental health. She got gifted like fucking nothing. And did she go? No. Yeah. So we're not gonna sit and talk about this woman's mental health. Fuck her mental health. Cause you know what? She don't give a fuck about anybody else's. Yeah. Like I'm tired of people doing this sugar fronting thing. If you look can stay ten toes with me and what I said, stay fucking ten toes with her and what the fuck she said. Because no one excused my mental health. No one excuses anyone else's fucking mental health. We're not going to sit and excuse her fucking mental health. Fuck her mental health. Because what about everyone else's fucking mental health when she's sitting down, sh on live, talking about people's kids, talking about cancer she don't fucking have, talking about grape, thinking that she's the fucking judge of jewellery. What about everyone else's mental health? What about Louise's mental health when she came up here and was fucking crying? Fuck that. Fuck her mental health. You lot are pissing me off with this shit. I am not excusing her mental health, Tori, and I'm, at, I'm telling you to look at the illness and what it does with alcohol and how low she will go. Yeah, but hello, I, I've got, I've got our responsibility. That's my mum has got BPD. I have got BPD. I would never, my mother would never, I would never, and I've been on this app for four years and I've never come for someone with an illness. So don't sit there and, and say because she's got this or because she's got that. The woman sits there and holds lives daily. The whole told big lives about people daily with thousands of people. She, 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 she's all right then. Yeah, I, I think that just gives sense. Sense. I think I'm, I'm thinking I'm explaining myself totally wrong here. I'm no, just, what I'm it looks like, AJ, 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 say something quickly. Yeah. What it looks like is you've come up and you're talking backwards. You want to stand up for Angie. I saw it no, from I, you coming. I don't in. want to stand up for Angie. You've got the wrong thing. I do not want to stand up for Angie. I'm absolutely sick to my stomach of what I come onto this TikTok and see the mocking of children, the mocking of cancer, the mocking of mental health, the mocking of bloody everything. And that's the point I'm trying to say is it would stop everybody from tearing each other apart if we just looked and made more awarenesses instead of everybody trying to physically destroy one another and run at each other like we're going with the lowest lows possible in life. I am not trying to stand up for Angie. I'm sick to my stomach watching what the Jane, people that's affected. Jane, listen, I'm, I, this is no hate. I think because you're not saying what you want to say directly, uh, right. Alicia, sorry. it's coming across yeah. as you're going round and round and round. Yeah, yeah, I understand if, that. Have, if you really just that. can't get to your point and say what you need to say, I would strongly suggest that you stop, sweetheart. Yeah. Sorry, but it's not what I came in here to see, and I'm not sticking up for Andy. I'm not on Andy's platform. In fact, I've blocked some months, so it's nothing at all to do with Andy. But I'm like, I'm watching people fall apart on a daily basis. I'm watching people that's grieving, struggling, and, and losing themselves as well. And I'm grieving. I've just lost my son, and I think to myself, God, I might stop, stop, because thousands of people are getting triggered by all this, like back and forward fighting, the fighting last night. There's poor Louise come on here this morning crying. Uh, a lady that's on the health platform and my platform got a brain tumour and she's affected and, and she's only got a short time to go. So the whole point I was trying to make this morning is understand that to stop that person, you have to stop basically talking about it about her and make more awareness of because the minute you stop talking about her you're giving it you're taking up control away that's the point i was trying to make so i'm sorry if i've do you know what it is james i hear what you're saying yeah i do get what you're saying a hundred percent but do you know what i feel like with i feel like people don't get the chance to say what they want to say on her platform so i think now in this little okay i think for them it's probably a safe space where they can come and say how they felt yesterday without being dropped, without being laughed at, yeah. without being told that they're fucking snowflakes or whatever. And seeing how much it affected her health, just having to get the, the chemo and things like that. And, if, and when I was a kid, she went through it as well. And radiotherapy has ruined her body. So it's not just going through the cancer, it's also the treatment as well. Like people just don't realize that. And cancer is the one thing that is going to affect this whole fucking app. And this is where we all need to, whether you like us or not, whether you like the person sitting next to you or whatever, just stand mm. fucking together. We need to do this. Stop arguing amongst each other. We need to actually fucking nip this in the bud now. 
And everyone, Jane is not an Angie supporter. She just said she's been blocked by her. She's been in our live. Yeah, she has. We all have. We've all sat in our live and got along with her and been nice to her. Like, oh, I think wow. Jane is just, Jane's someone who speaks from both points of views and she's just a nice person. Nobody needs to say she needs to go. And yeah. not exactly. And I think we've cancelled this because you got to understand here, yeah, there's people that ain't even, and I say lucky might be the wrong word, but ain't even lucky enough to get radiotherapy or chemotherapy because they have other illnesses like heart problems, diabetes or whatever it is. So sometimes you get told the news and you also get told that we can't do nothing about it. And like, it's, it's, yeah, it's not nice, man. Do you know, sometimes like as well, you're, you're tempting fate with the shit you say. One day you might, you might actually have AIDS, Angela. What the worst thing I found yesterday was, is like you speak about your family going through cancer and i know angie like sh she was very close to her dad because she's mentioned it before however then you're mocking something that he had and i don't understand it like i just don't understand how you can sit there and mock cancer when you're saying you know a family member's been through it exactly that's exactly right Madness. It's crazy, honestly. Mm -hmm. I don't understand why people feel that they are so low to do that. You have to be at a low place in your life to ever try and drag someone's illness or drag them for that anyway, how they look. Or you must be at a low level of life because it's just disgraceful. I don't understand why people feel that they are so low to do that. You have to be at a low place in your life to ever try and drag someone's illness or drag them for that anyway, how they look, or you must be at a low level of life because it's just disgraceful. The amount of people that are suffering that don't even want to talk about it, that are probably sitting here now and hasn't told a soul, hasn't got no support, hasn't got anyone around them, but then Levi does this live and it's, it's something good. It gives that, that these people something, do you understand? To understanding, because when Angie said that now, so many people are affected, they've gone off now and they've still got to live with it daily, you know? They've still got to live with the trauma you still got to live with the mental health that comes with it. you still got to deal with the family that are suffering, children that are losing people through it. And you've got, this is a deadly, this, I can't, I don't like saying even the word. To see how my sister that's never been ill in her whole life, she's got four children, and to see how she's declined is, is disgusting. It's not nice. And I want everyone to know that what you are going through, you are allowed to feel low, you're allowed to feel sad, you're allowed to talk, you are allowed to offload. Because I've seen when you are through the, going through this illness, especially when you haven't been through it, it's hard to talk about. So hard to talk about. And just allowing everyone to have a voice is, is special. So thank you, Levi. Do you know, like, there's not one set of people she hasn't upset on this app like she's literally come for every single community she's come for people with illnesses she's come for like she's just gone for every single sect of people you could possibly go for people who have been you know had cancer in their lives in some way it's just it's insane and i know she wants us to sit and talk about her but some things can't just be ignored. Like people were genuinely upset over what happened last night. I didn't see it, but I see the screen records and people are genuinely upset and are allowed to voice that. Think about that. Do you know what I mean? To get her to get some sort of resolution to this. But she'll thrive off of this live. Like someone will be here screen recording it, one of her little people, she'll thrive off of this. And then she'll be like, Oh, Probably Alicia, Diana. it's when your mother, you don't feed your kids, top girl. Like, like she, you know, it's just. One minute, Carla. I don't know the resolution to this. I don't give a damn what someone like her says about me. Like, That's she can what say I said yesterday. Yeah, now I'm past giving a shit, Carla. Yeah, honestly. I don't. Like, the shit she said about my mum, kids. I saw that. 
fucking mad. It's, it's, the thing is, though, like anything that anyone says to me on the internet about me being a mom or me as a person, <laughs> it doesn't affect me. However, no. stuff like this affects me because in one year I found out my dad, my niece, and my brother had cancer. Yeah. Okay. Six months of each other. Do you know what I'm I mean? I'm to hear that, Top Girls. Really, I'm sorry. They're fine now. Do you know what I mean? Um, like it still, it still leaves it. things. Do you know what I mean, Top Girls? Still leaves a mark on people. When yeah, hundred percent. Like my best friend is going through what Philip is going through right now. My best fucking friend. Mm, and yeah. It's it's mad. Like everyone, there's there's not one joke. person I know who's not been affected by um cancer. Not one person. Do you know? Do you know the thing is, is karma works in mysterious ways, guys. You can't run around the world and put so much poison and toxicity into it before something is eventually going to come back to you. So, if you're going to do that, you're eventually going to get what you're what you're owed, basically. Do you know what I mean? And it, yeah, it will come back. Amazing. It wasn't person. just cancer. She went on about though. She was saying about dementia. She was saying about tell. pregnancy. She's saying about sick cells. She said loads of shit. Like her mum said, she needs to come off TikTok and sort her life out. Do you know what her mum said? It's not us. even that. Did you not hear the whole um, traveling gypsy community? The way she was golden and golden and golden. And last night, I was like, I was shook. And she thinks because she speaks <laughs> very well and she talks very, that people are going to not take it any other way. No one cares how you talk. What you say you know, is still going to get addressed. Well. I don't think she talks very well at all. You could be the richest person. You can have... The, 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 I don't care who you are. Who She's you an are. animal. You're an, yeah. to, to do that is just disgraceful. To come for someone's weakness shows how weak you are. And I'm sorry, I, don't, I can't deal with people like that. Like, I've it's not been around, I've gone in Angie's box for, for ages. It's when you say like anything about them. Like, we'll be discussing it today. And the first thing she'll say is, oh, like she's a Jessie. Oh, you know, you're all obsessed with me. You can't keep my name out your mouth. Well, if you didn't keep doing disgusting things all the time, people wouldn't be talking about you. But she was saying, she was saying as well, like, oh, if you're triggered, don't watch me. But you're literally yeah. like, you, you you trigger a whole new set of people daily. And it's all yeah. over the FYP. That's why a blackout needs to happen and would work because she was fuming like her and her little cult need to just stay over that side of the app leave everybody alone sit and talk about your fucked up stuff that you do and just crack on with yourselves because a blackout will will work but everybody needs to do it you know the next time she says to anyone um that uh if you're affected get off the app it, the next time she's upset or cries i want everyone to write it if you're affected and it's upsetting your mental health get off the app can i can i just can i just talk on the dementia thing is that okay yeah Go ahead, sorry. Uh, I just want to make people aware. I, my granddad had dementia and it was a very, very, it was a horrible, horrible disease to watch because you don't lose that person once. You lose that person every single day because that person forgets who you are. They forget their lifestyle. They forget the favourite sweets they had. They forget their favourite TV programmes. My granddad got that severe with dementia to the point where he was towards the end he even forgot how to swallow food i was the, just about to say that the man was a shell of himself i watched my granddad every day go from this big strong burly man that i looked up to who was who was an amazing man who worked his whole life go to nothing absolutely nothing it was heartbreaking you're not you're affecting so many people it's not just one person you're affecting i guarantee with the things she's talked about every individual person that walks this planet would have been affected by something that that woman has said and this is why i back alicia uh, alicia and michelle with the back out blackout keep her off her fyps we don't need to see her then it's about time everybody took a stand, come together and did what was necessary to protect everybody. You're not just protecting certain people, you're protecting everybody. Exactly. exactly it's that. disgusting. She, she really... Right. And, no, and the thing is, her. she doesn't care. She Listen, really doesn't Leo, care. Lauren said in the comments that, just block her. It's that simple. Lauren, you see you. For just saying that, the karma you're going to get, Go away. 
Just get out of here, man. Just block her. It's okay. Oh, she just stop letting it affect you. It's just it doesn't matter if you block her. It doesn't matter. She's still on this app doing what she's doing. I don't think people get that. She's Regardless still there. Regardless of whether you block her or not, because there's so many people that go in there and screen record her. It's all on FYP, FYP, Kimmy. FYP. All everywhere. It's going to be, we're, you're going to see it. Scrolling your FYP, you're going to it's come It's everywhere. Up. I don't even watch her live and it's coming up on my FYP. Isaac, it's not a joke though. See, and you're saying you've got to mention and it didn't affect you. It was well, a joke. Well, that's you in it because you're up her ass. Come out of her bum, you might see. Do you understand? If you come, you so far up her. This is the problem. There's so many people are so far up her because they like the excitement. They like the boxes. They love all that. Oh, we got Angie. Oh, do you understand what I mean? Something to do every day. Grow up, man. But it's the way you're doing all nothing the boxes good. Afterwards, saying, you know, Angie, you've done nothing wrong. Eternity in them all. You've done nothing wrong. Take no notice. They're all just goading you, they're baiting you. Yeah, they're just exactly the same as her. Exactly the same as her. That's it. It's just, it's just low barrel people. Do you understand? There's two type of people in the fucking world. Do you understand that she's the one type? And that's it. She's a stereotypical, disgusting human being. That's it. She's just everything that everyone said she was and everyone's saying she was. The fact that no one believes that she's done what she's done with said to her dog and how she wasn't lying that day is a joke. Because what she done, yeah, she's just weird. She's weird anyway, isn't it? So for the fact for her to come and drag people that are going through such struggles, it's just, I'll never get it, to be fair. I will never forget it. I'll never get it. And I, I want you lot to all know, never be affected by that. I know it's easy said than done, but never be affected by someone like her. You know, never. Nothing she says is even valid. She ain't even valid. So her words ain't. So don't ever worry or think that what this woman is doing is ever a real life situation. The woman's delusional. Like her mum said, get out of that bedroom, <laughs> get off lit TikTok and go get a life. Took her how many times to go see her mum in the hospital? If she can't even respect her mother that is sick, she can't respect anyone. She don't respect herself. You understand? Her mum her mom seems quite nice, doesn't it? Sorry, as Ellie said. Yeah, she seems quite nice. But then, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go now. So apologies if I my words aren't coming out properly this morning. Um, it's not. I didn't mean to offend anybody. I think it's just emotions are like running high, and everyone's just had enough, Jane. I don't think it's anything personal to you. Um, it's understandable, Alicia. It's just I, I get so tired seeing because I know where my mind's at right now with grief, and I get so tired seeing so many people, so many good people suffering because of of bad behavior it's just in reality in my life and my job it's just not right it's not right so apologies if i've offended anybody um i'm a wee bit emotional myself this morning so it's just it made us all a bit emotional generally so i think it really has and but it's thank tough. you guys for letting me up i appreciate it i think everyone's trying to damage control it in it i think everyone's trying to do their best to damage control what's going on and yes it's, when you've got someone that's... There was a woman panel. in the comments last night when she was saying it, and today is the funeral of a 15-year-old nephew who passed with cancer. And well, cancer the, as well, wasn't it, what she was saying, Carla? Yeah. And the people that... She said she had a brain tumour, she shows a freckle on her arm and said she had skin cancer then... Then when Jack was saying his mum had something removed off her face, she was saying, is it this something, something carcinoma and this? And he's like, basal cell carcinoma. And he was like, I don't know. I don't know. Well, I know everything about cancer. My four aunties passed away. Um, me dad's and my mum's had it twice. Then her mum had had it once. And, you know, she's going on. And there was people in the comments like, um, I'm going to have to um, leave. It, it's too much. And then that woman was saying, it's not funny. I mean, you know, my 15-year-old nephew to his funeral tomorrow. She not really care, does she? She don't care. No. And, and the comments were disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Do you believe, because 
um, all of her friends on here are turning against her. This is why she's gone so low, because she changed a little bit. She's gone really, like, 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 like she's in a uh, mental health crisis. Charlotte, she's always been low. Um, she's always, like before, when people, even when people were standing beside her, she was going for a disability community. I mean, for months and months and months and months, she's gone for for Torian's mum, she's gone for Alicia's mum, and these are yeah, beautiful that. women that are no longer with us. She's mm -hmm. she's always been low. It's just mm -hmm. now because more well, people because I watch her enough to know, you know, like I just yeah. see like, the major things that happen and she holds, you know, but she's she has been low, I can see that just from the, the dog thing. When she she went over to M's and M's never even I know, you know, what M's does. She never even opens her mouth. And as soon as she went in on live with her, she was like, you whore, you this, you... The names that she calls her abs from absolutely nowhere. I think she's jealous of Ems, I've got a feeling. I was just going to say, do you know what I think a lot of this boils down to is jealousy of absolutely so. anyone on this app who has any sort of life, anyone who has any sort of views on this app like she can't stand she's it she's herself. living a really sad life where everything is just tick tock tick tock tick tock there's nothing outside of that and she's jealous of of anyone for anything and i think that's where all this anger and hatred that spews from her mouth comes from and i just because want to say in regards to her mum like she was using sorry charlotte she was using her mum saying, oh, you know, you're saying this to me and my mum's in hospital. You don't give a shit about your mum because see, when my mum was ill, she was at my house. I was looking after her every single day right until the end. Like I wasn't on TikTok running around offending every single community on here. I was looking after my mum. I was holding her hand. I was with her. I'm so so stop using your mum as an excuse like, oh, you can't say this to me because my mum's ill. Shut your mouth. You don't care about your mum. People on this app care about your mother more than you do and that's crazy and it's it's at the end of the day like i know this ain't about me but i'm going through as i've got severe illness and the fear the scared fear that i've had the last couple of months no one level understand you understand and illnesses ruin us ruin us as a people and ruin people around them like Alyssa said look what she had to go through she had to watch her own mother and you've got people like angela coming on here feeling like they can do what they they want to do when you've got young ladies that are losing their parents. Like, come on, man. Come on. Anyone that can support that shit, you are low. Low as hell. And you're a beg, sorry. And this is like, me and Charlotte don't get along. We've had our to-dos on this app, but you know, like, what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong, so... 100% with this, yeah. Like, yeah, it's just... I don't know. It doesn't matter, like... What, but when it comes to shit like this, yeah, like people have to fucking grow up, do you understand? And that's exactly what is happening here. And I think when you're talking about something so severe and when you, you've been through it yourself, this year, like, I just feel like there's no need for any type of people should come and make you feel less of a person or, do you know, get me? And I think what Angela's doing is she's so low in herself that she just wants everyone else to feel like how she feels. But it, just, takes a, it takes an army to make a change, and if more people come together and more people stand together, the more likely you are to make a change and make a difference. You know, the thing okay. is, when these, when someone is like, someone's argued with her on that platform, which I've argued with her loads of times, but it's not just her sitting there saying, "Ban your mother." Like, you get people following you around, you get people messaging you, you get people at you every single day. Like these people that are around her, a lot of them are really nasty, horrible, toxic people on that on. strong, like... Look how she's protected her. Well, look how, like, that's when I stopped going in her box. Guys, can you hear me? Now we can. Um, you're, a bit, you're a bit low, top girl. I'm just, I'm just connected to the car, that's why. Um, I think we should wrap up with Levi's falling asleep. Yeah, I think we should wrap up with Levi's falling asleep. Um, but, like, Alicia is more than welcome. We can all jump in hers if she's going to go live. Who's going live then? If I go live, they'll have a heart attack. Um, or Carla or Alicia. Alicia is um, wearing her crop tops right now, guys. Mm -hmm. I can't go live yet until in, in a bit. Carla, do you want to jump live? You've got to remember, these people have been through it. Like, it's very triggering for them. 
Yeah, I can't do it, <laughs> Someone said, do it, Torian. Do <laughs> what you've got to do. This is, you do what you want to do. You've got your own platform. So don't let anyone in this app stop Torian, you. Torian, yeah, just do what you're doing. Do what you want to do. This is your <laughs> platform. Yeah, the thing is, is you're standing up against something completely it's different right now. This your is point. not about what happened with you. This is about Angie. It's oh, not yeah. about what happened with you. And if you want to go live and you want to make awareness of this and get a point across, then do it. Don't mm -hmm. let nobody stop you. Can I just say, Tony yes. doesn't want to go live. Alicia can't go live yet. Everyone, please, can you follow Carla? So, um, yeah. then everyone can jump in hers until Alicia or Tony want to go live. Do you know what I mean? Like, don't make Tori and do something that she like. She's not in the headspace at the moment. And if she doesn't want to do it, just leave her for now. She's not. She's had enough shit going on the last few days. Yeah, I weren't trying to make her do it. I was just trying to say, like, do you know what I mean? She oh, no, should... not you, Kimmy. I will make her do it. Shut up, you. Can. You can't make me do anything. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Right. Um, yeah, guys. I think I'm gonna give it to Carla, only because I just I can't be asked with. Guys, but yeah, Bontorian is still trending, so if you want to put it in the comments, you can. Uh, <laughs> top girl. Can everyone follow me, though, because I'm banned on my accounts because of the creature. So everyone follow me. Right, guys, I'm going right, to... let's go. Carla. Hi, everyone. Okay, I'll go over there. Uh, All right, everyone follow Carla. Wait, everyone. make sure everyone's following Carla quick. Let's just give everyone one minute. Is, do you know what I mean? Mm, the amount of like elderly people that she has on her stage as well, who would know who have been affected by these. I really want to know what their opinions are today. Are they going to be like, oh, it's okay, and I understand. Or what are they going to be like? Nah, you took it to the whole next level. Like, like, can I just say as well, Claire Duffy, I see your comments in Gypsy Queens yesterday and I saw you saying, oh, you know, I've backed her in, but I also saw your comments in Gypsy Queens yesterday because there was actually a screen recording posted of her when she was talking about me. And I saw your comments where you were saying that you back her 100% the same as you were saying to Tori and like, you're, you're being mixed up. That's why people kick off. She's not trolling, is she? No, she's just trying to get everyone to like her, but, you know. Is Effie showing a screenshot? Should I expand her? Oh, I can't. So you welcome up, Effie. You okay? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Did you say oh, you've got a screenshot or something? Focus it. So this is oh, someone, wait there, wait there, wait there. someone, a mum, who said that their child is in remission from a brain tumour and that she wasn't affected by what Andrew said. Who, who the hell said that? What's their name? <laughs> can, you, can you make a big screen, Alicia? It won't let me do it. See that indigo moon? Yeah, that's who it is. one of the people that's had a lot to say. Like, a lot. You said, my son is in remission from a brain tumour. I don't think it's affected by it at all. Um, I don't know if I can change it, NJ. I can... Uh, do I have to like delete the app and re-download it or something so I get the version that all the users have? Hold on, should because I green screen can't it? I do big screen? Let me green screen it, see if that helps. Okay, if you check on my mod things, make, put just put everything on to see if I can do it. Because when I'm clicking on people, it's not giving me the option to expand, which it usually does. Okay, one sec. Hi, Alicia, can oh, you hear me? Mark. Yeah. It's, I don't want anybody to like me on the app. I'm ruthless, and that's how I am. I'm going to tell you exactly what happened. She told me um, that she Torian didn't apologise, and I said, if that was the case, I stand with you 100%. But I then went on to find out that Torian had apologised publicly. No, I just I saw you in Torian saying... You know, everyone, I've got Torian's back, blah, blah, blah. I have. Yeah, and then I, I see the Queen they, saying that they, Torian's disgusting, so... They were both as bad as each other, and I've said it. But that, at the end of the day, Alicia, right, when she told me there weren't no public apology, I then saw a public apology because it was sent to me, okay? So he, somebody sent it over. So, like, you have to understand one thing. This is not about Torian today. This is about Angie. Angie yeah. And I do yeah, stand with Torian. I agree 100%, but Tor like, the reason Torian's mentioned is because everyone keeps keeps on about her. Do you know what I mean? I do stand with Torian because what that woman said about her kids was absolutely disgusting. 
but I think they was both as bad as each other. But all of a sudden, T is the one that's getting called out. I don't stand with anyone. What I'm saying is they was both as bad as each other, just like I've been in the past, just like everyone else. At the end of the day, this is about Angie, and the concentration needs to be focused on Angie. Bloody hell, Claire Duffy talking sense. NJ, check on your app store if your app needs updating. You might do, one sec. I don't know why, like, sometimes you can expand in boxes and sometimes you can't. I don't know why. Yeah, exactly. Hold Still. on a minute. She said she's apologised. Um, you said, has she, she apologised? No. Gypsy said Queen well. said no. And you said, well, she's lied to me then. Yeah, because I, because I was told there was a public apology. Yeah. Look at Duffy, you, you're, you, you're like, your ears to the ground all the time. You know what, what's going on in the app everywhere. You should have knew Honestly, that. Honestly, never. That he'd done a I live asked her. I so asked her if she'd had an apology, and she said, "I've had no apology whatsoever." Hang on, let me just go through the comments because I've got a video. Hang on. No, she definitely apologised to her, and she went. She went live and allowed people to literally lynch her on live, and she allowed people to go in the boxes and question her. She never allowed yeah. any hatred yeah. to be blocked out. But yet we haven't, we haven't <laughs> received the same from Gypsy Queen, and we've all said that T, what he said, she took it to the next extreme. But we just would like accountability for her part, and then I believe that. We can, you know, we can move forward from it, but some people don't want to move forward from stuff because that, that, unfortunately, this is the only content that they've got. Do you know what I mean? It's either that or coming online and saying horrible stuff to people and stalking them around the app to try and trigger them for a response. You know, at the end of the day, I reached out to T, right? We, we don't get on, we're not friends. And I did reach out to her and I asked her, did she apologize? If, she said, no, I've had no apology. I said, well, I stand with you 100% if you've had no apology. But then I was sent the apology. So the was an apology and what, you, and what did you think when you seen it? I think that at this you, moment in time, I think they were both as bad as each other. And I think they... Do you think of the apology? Do you believe it was sincere? I think it was a decent apology, and I know. Do you believe the was apology upset. was sincere? I mean, absolutely. Mm -hmm. she, That's what I'm she went low. She went low because she had to go low. NJ, I'll be back in a minute. I just want to see what Remy's saying because apparently she's showing everything that was said to Torian beforehand. Oh, okay. Go oh, oh, she got it. Yeah, she's live now. Um, what's her? What's her? I don't even follow her. Go on, go on, Lisa. Just come back yeah, and I'll, I'll come back. to it though. All right, all right, all right. Babe, do you want to drop me down and then I'll rise back up when they come? Of course you can. Do you know how to drop oh, yourself? Oh, my darling. Do you know how to drop yourself? Oh, sweet. All done, babe. Wait, wait. All done. Yeah, I'm... Okay, let me see what this... Let me see what this is saying then. Cam two, because somebody else come up and cam two, because then that means that I can go and have some food and that. Who's this beauty of a drama? Oh, yeah. Oh, you can okay? I ask you something? Yeah, of course you can. Do you think, like, with everything that's happening at the moment, there needs to be some sort of knife crime awareness? I mean, awareness on knife crime should never really stop, unfortunately. I believe that, you know, when it comes to certain stuff, can I be honest with you? Yeah, yeah, of course. Because like, I, I just, like, with everything with, with Angie and Torian, I'm, I really want to do the big C awareness um, mm -hmm. with what she's doing with the month that we're in. She also yeah. was saying that she was pregnant and I've lost, trigger warning guys, sorry, I've lost a baby myself, so I wanted to do an awareness oh, on that. And also yeah. on... If I'm doing that, I don't want to then be slated for not do. Do you know what I mean? I think do what. <sighs> if it's affected you personally, and it you want to do, I just wanted to bring awareness with it being a thirteen plus app. 
Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it if you want to do that, but I would, I would suggest that, like, stick to your, stick, not saying stick to your niche, but do what you know in it. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if, if it's like what you've been affected by, because I always think that if you have like life experience around it, it's more impactful. If that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah, because I've actually dealt with it. If you know what I mean. Yeah, it's yeah, like I me talking you. on something else. I might say something, and that that might offend a lot of people because I haven't. Experienced experienced it if that makes sense yeah yeah i just did a bit of research before and it's the big c it's, it's crazy how many people it it affects it's I, when i just researched it there it's it's one in a thousand people that is so sad like i am um, yeah. wouldn't even say lucky blessed to not have seen anybody be taken that way do you know what yeah. I mean? Not in the extent of like, you know, like let's say my mom or someone close where I've see, see them deteriorate, God bless their soul. I haven't. I've yeah. had family members that have passed away from it. But I do know that it affects so many people. That would be the last thing that I would use to trigger people. If that's what my niche is, to trigger people. That's what people do on here. That's, that's some of their content. Like, how can I trigger people? I feel like that one there is a no-no-go zone because... Yeah. A lot of people that she has on her stages, I'm guessing a lot of their family members have been through that. And to watch somebody that they highly value mock it like that, I bet it was soul destroying. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. I mean, there was a lady in her comments that... um, Say that again, sorry. There was a lady in Angie's comments that her nephew had, had passed away and his funeral was today and she was literally like crying in the comments yeah, didn't she saying, come up on the stage yeah. um i don't know because it got too much for even like for me oh bless you so you went yeah, uh, you, yeah you, missed that. That. you missed it then because that said woman went up on the stage and they literally dropped her as she was oh. expressing from what i was watching there was a lot of people that was Gone in for angie but she still had people up there eternity you know who you are like protecting her it's bad because when you read the like when I just flicked through the comments because I only went on there briefly because I'm not I don't want to be given a view really not that I make a massive difference but people in her comments was actually telling her what to say what yeah it makes it even worse right yeah but this is how are, are they are they um possessed at this point or something by this uh, woman I've no idea. it's just crazy i'm, I'm, I'm being honest like I, I'm, I'm honestly starting to think that like all these pe all these cult are under some sort of spell or something yeah like oh. when she was on doing the battle with um a is it ar um, yeah. she was like don't forget about his coma don't forget about this don't forget about he's been to put like just and then like Ems always has the police so everyone was just like goading her to go at everyone else like deflect what she's actually doing and saying to make it about other people and she, sorry I was just reading that comment she, someone says she was diagnosing herself again after Red's live mm -hmm. that's crazy there's somebody in here called I Hate Liars. Um, I completely understand with what you're saying, but it's like when people have done wrong on this app and they've come on live to give an apology, they'll put sub only on. They'll come on for five, ten minutes, act like, oh, my God, my whole life was over. That's why I said what I said. Then they go, like, see, done an uh, apology, explained sat online for an hour and a half left the comments open for anybody to come in left the boxes open for anybody to come in what what more can she do or do you want and then on the other side the person that provoked the whole situation has not said sorry at all and he's running around the app telling other people that she haven't received an apology when there was a, a when there was a public apology you clearly wouldn't want her in your inbox do you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I just don't understand what more a person can do. And if that's fine and you want to use that as your content, please make sure your hands are clean for the rest of your life. Because look, one one minute somebody was online yesterday tearing into her, tearing into her children, bringing up like autism, all these kind of things that use or get irate over because it's a child, isn't it? But is it because it's T's child that nobody should care anymore? More. this is the thing that i don't understand everybody's talking about children and how children are off limits but then it's okay for other people to mention children and they get away with it 
can we just can we just can we just keep the same energy for all and then maybe the world that we're living in will be fair but all i see right now is injustice and i can't stand injustice that's what i was saying before that's what i was saying before is if we're going to have this energy for one it needs to be the energy the same energy for all the same energy for all that is all we're asking how's it going nj <clears throat> did you problem. happen to catch uh Lene's live no, no, I didn't still. Okay, she just had a pretty big live going on over there while you were hosting, and I, obviously you're busy. I didn't know if you were multitasking, but uh, there was a guy named Ashley Chitole over there, Arb, he goes by on the app. Arb. He was making fun of a woman named Arb. Arb, yeah. There's a woman named Empress Mons, very kind woman. She's a mother, a uh, hardworking woman. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I love Mons, he went yeah, I love Mons. On, yeah, she's a really cool woman. He went over to to uh, Lene's page and he hey roasted this woman so disrespectfully and oh, spoke on her child. He said that her child is genetically predisposed to being an R word just like she is. He said a number of horrible, repugnant things. So I just thought that I would pop in and share that um, information uh, based in regards to what I heard your topic was um, about uh -huh. injustice and people speaking on children and on a consistent uh -huh. basis. It seems to go overlooked on this app far, far too much. And uh, so I appreciate what you're doing here and bringing these things to attention and carry on. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Zozo, sorry. Are we talking about Empress Mons, the kind lady? Yes. Yes. What happened to her? Sorry, I was listening, but I was I couldn't see. Hear that, see that even noise. you know her she, as the kind lady because she's a fucking sweetheart. Like nobody bothers her. Yeah, she minds the case. She's so well spoken and calm. Like nobody bothers her. She minds the case. Yeah, I do yeah, know she is. she is. And um, so Arbs, uh, she was yeah, saying know. something. She was saying something in defense of a situation. Uh, we were playing some videos. She was just simply speaking her mind in the comments. He didn't appreciate that she had an opinion, so he decided to start attacking this woman haplessly. He made fun of her, her children, uh, called her children a bunch of names, laughed at her, and said that her children would never become anything. Like Just a bunch of horrible, despicable things. And uh, I can't even fathom for the life of me what the basis was, because that lady has never done crap to anyone. But yeah, watch out for that guy. He goes by ARB on the app. Um, he's constantly getting in arguments with people. So you've probably encountered him before. How do I really come around here? I don't really see him. I don't come around these bits. Yeah, he don't really come around here. I don't think he'll survive <laughs> yeah, here, to be honest. Because <laughs> he knows I know him from the, the Matrix. That's why, Pierre. So you don't, okay. don't, don't want to yeah, come so around he here. Clear of you because of that. All right, mm -hmm. fair enough. Uh -huh. Scott, I call him Bones, any? I don't call blast. him oh God, I call him Ashley Bones, any? And he's like, Will you know me? <laughs> oh, he was doing a lot on Instagram through through lockdown oh, times. Yeah, that was his... <laughs> well, man, like, you're already yeah. informed, it seems, NJ. Uh, yeah, I appreciate I your time, my G. Yeah, my Bless up, NJ. Bro. Bless up, Torian. Every time. Yeah. Followed you back. Yes. Yeah. See, so what's going on on that side then? Are you ready to come to or what? No, wait, I need to pop to the shop quick. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> no worries, no worries. So anybody I will, else I've left my iPad quick? on char. Unless I leave you... No, but I need my phone. I'm just um, I'm just going to get bread because I'm making my... I've been literally, guys, I woke up and I had the sense that I need to sprinkle my whole gas. And um, that's literally what I've done. Why just flying to the shop? I'm just going to shop because I'm having a little lunch. Yeah, I'm just flying to the shop quick. I just need to get bread for my, for my lunch. Did you watch that whole live? Oh, was you in that live yesterday then when they was talking about your... That one. Uh, the delusive one. Oh, because remember, I fell asleep and then I woke back up and then no, I just came the into your in live. The, in, the, in the daytime? Um... I got a few clips that people were messaging me saying that how, yeah, that how people shouldn't help my children and all this and all. I don't need help for my own children. I just asked the question, like, mm -hmm. and then, yeah, they were just doing too much, NJ, man. Well, there's a, there's a YouTube page called The Observer and you can get the whole live still. I think it's about, it's only about 30 minutes long. It's for Was she proper slagging me off? It's more that Lemons and that Aussie Ali. All these people, they need to be held accountable. They're the ones that I want to speak to today. Aussie Ali, I swear she's known... Aussie Ali, I swear she's known as a predator. 
They said that. Oh, at least. Yeah, she done something. Is that the Australian one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she done. She's a wrong one, but I don't know what she done. It's Alicia that's gonna know. Yeah, I can't. She done something. I don't know. I can't stand her. Uh, Alicia has just come back, but she says that um, Remy's got the the full live now when he was being goaded. Is it? Did you hear that? No. I think she might. What live? She hasn't got the full live. I think she was calling. like just saying what Gypsy Thanks Queen had said, because obviously we haven't been able to, because everyone will just scream deflection. So it's just a pointless exercise for us to do. But mm-hmm. who was you just talking about? Ossie, you know the one that sits in Angie's lab, the Australian one. What? I know you don't call her a wrong one, oh, but why? Ali. Yeah, yeah, her. She's just a fucking idiot. She's just a lonely old Australian woman. I don't think she's a wrong one. I just think she's a twat. Alicia, okay, you come to. What am I come to him? Angela. Dragon. Hang on, let me find my other phone. I don't know where I've put it. I want to hear what I want to hear what she's saying. Don't you have another device, NJ? I do, but it's it's, it's a bit shit. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I think it is charged, but the thing is as well. Is that she's, like, Alicia's obsessed. She's blocked me on like all of my accounts as well. That's why you need a ghost account. I actually do. I started have blocking one. people who like ghost watch me and that, so it's inconvenient for them because it makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> I do. do. I, I do have a burner, but I don't know how to get into it. I've lost it. I've lost the password for it. They got Haley coming in the building. Oh, no, wait, NJ, are we getting oh, into it, into it today? 100% man, I ain't at work, so I've got time for this. I'm telling you, I've got time for this today. Yeah. You can do all these little, little, little lives and that when, when people are not about and can't see anything. Like, we, that's what we need to do today. I want to hear from everybody, everybody that was triggered by this woman. This is a platform for you today to come and express how you feel. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I understand what you're saying. Like, you know, everyone does have to have their own opinion. And that's totally fine. I get that. Everyone has their own opinion. Where when you've got speaking? people that come in here 90, 90 to 90 uh, to smile. Time delusive myself, smiles. Always in oh. here. Let me just then, uh, reiterate to everyone. Delusive smiles said she didn't have any Christmas presents for her kids. Um, they really? didn't go fund me. Everyone gave money because to make her kids' Christmas like magical, and it turns out her kids are in their thirties. One of them's in the army. Water at the same time. Wait, what? Yeah, that's what delusive <laughs> smiles did. And then six no. later, they'll be the ones in here moaning out and saying, "Oh, but that wasn't right. That wasn't right. You're disgusting." Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. I 100 percent agree with that. They're complete hypocrites, and they're trying to so be coaches or whatever. Is that lemons? Ones I mean, by when I no, say that's Jenny they need Lee. to get a brain because these are the ones that keep that are always in here. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but I was talking about the people that that were saying they were clearly saying, "Oh, we love Angie. We always watch Angie." But I was hurt or I was affected by what was said last night. I think then maybe the people in their boxes or some of their mods should say, "Listen, going forward, because we all need the." have our opinions but still like, be respectful of each other so no it doesn't hurt to say well maybe the next time i'm having a drink try not to say that because now you know that it's for people that genuinely do like me and watch me i was yeah, talking about the people that, were, that do like her that were hurt but, especially that woman that came in the box but jenny with all due respect like i don't know what people expect the mods to do because we can call Angie when she's having a drink we can call her she won't answer the phone we can put messages in the in the comments we can message her she won't answer the messages so my point to that my question is okay if people want us to do stuff what do they what do they expect the mods to do Walk because away. they know what we're doing behind the scenes behind the line like mods are constantly calling out and come offline come offline so to people who are who sit in the comments and go well the mods aren't doing enough what do you want us mods to do because there is only so much we can do we can message her we can call her but it's up to Anne to pick up that phone or Anne to pick up a message we can't grab her through the phone and say and come offline we need to talk to you you can't do that so my point to people who, who say that is what do you expect us mods to do? Yeah, no, I wasn't sorry. I wasn't blaming the mods for Angie. Angie's a grown woman. She says, 
yeah, whatever she says, that's, that's all Angie. I wasn't meaning the mods for that. And I have seen before you of trying to come off of me doing all this. What I mean is when somebody in the comments or somebody that supports Angie and, and their subscriber and they say, oh, I don't agree with that or they're jumped on and then the people in the boxes, sorry, I don't know if they're all mods all the time or it's just people in the boxes, they always seem to jump on them and say, well, you're wrong or don't watch her then or don't. What I mean is they should be kind of saying, oh, well, Angie, no, and you should just say, listen, if it hurts you, I'm sorry, whatever, it's my opinion. And people can say, well, I can still choose to watch you or not. Do you know what I mean? It was be a bit more respectful to the, their followers. Can I? And you know as well, that delusive smiles, with, when all that Keisha and Dimitri stuff was going on, she was like, oh, age is nothing but a number. Oh, my God. She was like, you know, if you two are happy, that's fine. Comments. Andy's not even there at the moment, it's just people we're just in the boxes. To say we don't agree. The same way Lung said. The way Lung said, Andy should never have said that. I mean, like, it, has anybody, has anybody got to that point where they right, they've said something, they shouldn't have said it, because they're never drinking, they've said something. Oh, the lives ended because she was paused. Well. What a day. Hmm. Don't worry, NJ, I'll carry the line. Disconnected. Yeah, it's ended because she was paused. Um, let me see. Oh, I've been flagged for bullying and harassment. <laughs> Come back, Alicia. As if you got flagged. Uh, how can I get onto Insta on this crappy phone? If anybody wants to come up and express how they're feeling about what happened yesterday, feel free. This is a safe space for you to vent. You might just want to vent. Tia will be back in a minute. Stop doing it then. She ain't even doing nothing, is she? <laughs> I don't even have Instagram downloaded on this sh shitty phone. But right, while you're waiting though, I can show you something that was on Observer's YouTube. And the Observer. And for those who don't know and you want to catch up on what all your favorite content creators are doing, go to the Observer's YouTube. Everything is there. And there ain't getting, there's no getting away from what you do online because she'll be recording you. The Observer. Observer. I can't even find it. Thank you for the followers, guys. The, uh, there we are. Okay, so for everybody that is here, and you might be new here or you might just don't like this woman. I want to show you what she was getting up to yesterday, which just just confuses me as how she can come online in the, in the night and do what she does. But yet she wants to speak on people in the daytime. Trigger warnings. Trigger warning as well for the people that are locked in still. Right, so this was yesterday. Big up Shannon in the building. Trigger warning. Sammy, big up Sammy. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Thank you. Thank you for the roses. I had to lock that person off because you was just about to make an excuse. There's no excuses for the behaviour. You know, if someone does something once, all right, cool. Do you know what I mean? You can forgive them twice. Mm, we're pushing it three times. Now you take it to piss four times, five times, six times. Like how many more times is this person going to trigger people until people wake up and be like, nah, I ain't viewing her no more. Scumbag, don't let her fuck with your day. She's never, ever going to listen to sense. Ever. It's like screaming into the wind. Thank you, Carol. Sorry, guys, I got the wrong one. Oh, I got the right thing. I just need to just... 
Go back to the start. Gosh, my new phone couldn't come quick enough. Right, so this was yesterday. This is Angie and all her cronies having their opinion. Thank you, Dunbar. Yeah. Of course, you can ask me a question. Feel free. Thanks for the heart, me. As long as it's not too controversial. No, I'm only joking. Nothing's too controversial. Ask what you want. Ask away. She won't, Mummy. Mummy G, we have to rub this woman out, you know. It's that time, Mum. Anything that involves a weapon, right, and that it has been used, yeah, to, to hurt someone or unalive someone, in my opinion, is worse because that person is no longer here. And Jay, can you hear me? Now that might affect. I don't know who wants to turn to. Cheyenne needs help. Have you seen it? Who? Cheyenne. You know Cheyenne? What? What's happened? I don't know. There's this blood all over the house. There's like she's crying. There's, you know that bando man that came in, smashed up her place, and everything. I don't know what else to do. No, I don't. I, the thing is, I don't follow Shy, so I haven't been keeping up on what she's been getting up to. Yeah, I hear that. I hear that. Let me try and get Reese. Hold on. Please don't believe her. She done this last time. Mad. Someone asked if I have siblings or children. Yes, I do. Why are you asking me personal questions like that? User, why are you asking me personal questions like that? Fake drama. I hope so. Yeah, that's the reason. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. That's the reason why I've jumped in. Why are you asking people about about like, siblings or kids? That's Listen, a, this live weird. is not about anybody, okay, other than you know who, Angie, okay? So don't come up here with your comments like that. That is dead personal, you know. I actually feel like I know why they're asking that question still. I'm not going to say it until they say something, but it's a bit of a weird yeah. question still, I can't lie. Nah, you know why they're asking? I'm going to tell you. You damn well know why they're asking. They're trying mm -hmm. to twist it back from Angie to you know who. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a deflection it's, tactic, isn't it? It's a deflection, yeah. And you, you know that they're coming from that side mm -hmm. of the room. Mm, yeah, you know, so at the end of the day, when I've seen that, I want, I, you know, my blood's boiling, you know, asking about kids. Like, what's that got to do with you? Well, this is what I'm saying. That's what their uproar is about. But then they go around to do the same thing. I just don't understand people that, that, that are these consumers. Like you say, you don't want people talking on kids, etc., etc. And then you go around asking questions. It's crazy. I just... It's madness. Imagine you had kids, but you don't want people to know. Exactly. Or, you know, you've got siblings, but you don't want people to know about your siblings. Nah, I don't like this kind of this kind of chit chat. And you know, at the end of the day, it, this is not about anybody else, but Angie and what Angie has done last night. Because the amount of people that are crying this morning, unbelievable, mm. unbelievable. It, 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 she has absolutely ruined people's hearts and i'm talking a lot of people you know because i've been in many lives and then people need to really come up and speak on this platform mm -hmm. and, and say mm. how they feel about what she's done because if it was the other way around if i had done that oh my gosh the pitchforks would be out for me today i'm telling you that's exactly what i'm saying but you know people in the comments need to realize this live is about angie so, you know, well, on, I, wanna hear, I, I do want to hear from people because I know for a fact that a lot of her fans are no longer her fans anymore because that line that, that, that she crossed is a line that she won't be able to cross back over. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Here we go. Listen, I'm not talking for, he doesn't need me to talk. 
Sorry to interrupt. He doesn't need me to talk, guys, in the comments, right? I just jumped in because I don't like when they ask if you've got kids or siblings. Stop trying to deflect of what Angie's done. What Angie's done is the worst of the worst. Now I'm dropping down. I'm going to let you continue, but I'm in the comments. Big up yourself, Claire. Bye, right, bye. I've not seen it yet. Can you play it, please? <laughs> okay, then. But trigger warning for everybody right. that's in here. I'm back from the shop, guys. You're back, you're back, you're back. All right, back. what I'm going to do is see. I'm going to show them what was said in it. Okay, cool. All right, let me switch for it. See, I seen it last night. It happened last night, and pff, by the time I had seen it, it was already up by like three, four hours. So I ain't even seen the comments. I'm guessing the comments are going to be crazy on here. Go to the Observer on YouTube. I was just on there, but as you put up Angie's Wonder. Oh, I'm on TikTok now. I can just do it through here. But I only watched two. Well, I could only stomach two last night, to be fair, because it Morning, was just everybody. horrendous, man. Like to a proper mess, yeah. I've lost a lot. Oh, shut up, Court Assassin. Do you hear about Court Assassin? No. So basically, you know her mod, Kenko? Yeah, yeah. Apparently, he's a convicted child predator. Oh, yes, yes. People. So that's what the video is about. And Joe, Joe666, I can comment on anything I want. If you don't like it, leave before you get blocked and muted because I am modding here. Let me just tell you lot something. Before you lot type, per I don't care if you don't have an opinion, I will never block you for that. But when you lot are starting to get personal with me, just remember I am mod and I will block you at this blood club. My brother NJ, I know, will not have a problem with it. Oh, yeah, that's fine. You. you do your thing. Thank you. Mute whoever you want. We know you don't give no fucks. Uh, the police know about it. I don't care. <sighs> Let me tell you something, yes, yeah, sobriety Jack has definitely uh, my respect with this. Oh, fuck off, I am. Uh, 
want to say? What do I want to say? I don't want to say anything. I just piss off. Yeah. Take all the place. All the the place. Reason in that. Thank you, darling. <laughs> She had hiccups. Her body was trying to shut her down from talking, but yet this woman still wants to say her nastiness online. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Thank you, Are you ready? Are you ready to me? No, no. What I'm saying is you need to stop drinking. That's what I'm saying. No, we were saying... Oh, well, was saying she was saying all this vile stuff before she was even pissed in the power. Yeah, yeah, I was saying... 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 Yeah, I was she is repeatedly given grace, repeatedly f forgiven, repeatedly given support. This is who she is. Wow. Powerful words. That's what I'm saying. That your, at your attitude, your answer there. Thank you, darling. Yeah, that's it. That's my answer. Let me ask you a question. So you're saying everyone who's gone through cancer, you don't, you don't give a fuck. That's what you're saying. I never said that. You did, you technically basically did. I know it's a joke. You are, though, you are saying that. I'm not saying that. It's in the place. It's in the place. You are saying that, though. That's what you're saying. It's in the place. It's always the end of my life. Good. 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 Don't you want to give the people a story? No. Wow. There you go. Is this her addressing it today? Right, right. I'm not sitting here saying I've got cancer and, and, and going, up, go, uh, going along with a uh, lie. Everyone knew it was better. How many times, guys, have you all gone on, do uh, you, I call it Dr. Google? Banter. Cancer. Banter. They don't even, all right, they might rhyme, but they definitely, nah. You can't say that is banter. That is a joke. And you have diagnosed yourself. Mm -hmm. and you've got... Hello, yeah, top girl. You listen? It's 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 fucking it's 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 Everyone's saying this. What the hell? No. Nah. Some man or men come in like there's B L W O D everywhere. Um, what? Yeah, she, she's on like 10k views. The police are coming and everything. So what the hell has happened? I fuck knows. Um, safe spaces on. So I thought you would know. No. Everyone, somebody else says that uh, as who well. About, that, who are we talking about? Cheyenne. Oh, Cheyenne. God, I don't want to be in the box with Mama G. Bye. Top girl. Are What's you top girl got beef? <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't even talk to her. I don't, I don't even talk to her. What, what's happened to Cheyenne? She has gone off now. I don't know. She's something about blood and I, I mean, yeah. I don't know what you can say. Um, top girl, can you come back up so we can reason this, please? Can we have a reasoning? Smashed up a house and that. No, why? She said she would. No. Bloody hell. I hope she's okay. Hey guys, what's up? What's up, Montana? Hey, Montana. What do you want, Em? I'm good. How are you, lot? Um, top girl, can you and Mama G? Um... No, she called me Vermi when she didn't know. She don't even know who the fuck I am and said I don't stick up for my own people. So no. What was that's, what, that's what you were projecting at the time. Now you're not with you Angie. Don't, you don't know. 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 I didn't have a comment time. about you when people were talking about you. This is the first time I've ever been like, <laughs> I, I'm I actually talking to the girls. So. Are you saying that you never called me vermin? And I probably did. I said that I don't stick up for my own people. I probably did. I probably did. And you don't know me, so you had no reason to have an opinion about me. You were that way at the time, Top. Girl, oh, look off. who you were sitting with, oh, and now all of a sudden you don't like her. Like I'm, I'm, I'm not arguing with you. I'm I not here still, to argue no, with you. you were to, we you are here for one when it was thing about the and Pearl one thing and only. Even about the Andrew situation, what well, are you want about? Let me tell you something, yeah. The way what? you were presenting, yeah. 
you were acting like that. So I probably did mm -hmm. say that. I don't remember saying it, but I probably did say it. And if I did say it, I still stand on it. The way you were presenting was yes. that, what yes. I was saying. But anyway. now you're not with the woman now and I'm you're not, presenting you did differently. You say it when it was about Angie. You said it when I fucking, it was when I was in Pearl's live. Well, that says it all then, doesn't it? Fucking idiot, man. That you don't know all, someone. Top girl, you silly woman. You're the fucking silly ladies, woman. Ladies, ladies, come on. Come on. Speak to each other <laughs> better. I didn't what start all this, on? MJ. Like, come on. All right, you said can I have a... I'm too grown for this. Again. Oh, what's going on? Can we have an amicable um, conversation? I'm too grown for no, this. You can't just come so, in MJ. and start oh, flipping and her, front and stuff around when, when, when that's how you were presenting. Like, it's true. And everybody knows it. Well, are you finished? Are you finished? Oh, girl, just speak, man. I, I can't talk because she talks she stopped, to me. She's muted. Anyway, it was about the Pearl situation. When I chose to um, stop all the shit with Pearl, I never asked anybody to forgive her. It was my decision and my decision only. Um, I never fucking heard Mama G start talking about the Pakistan. Oh, uh, Sorry, my bad, Carol. I never um, um, saw uh, Mama G sticking up for the Muslim community or anything. Yeah, I didn't call her fucking vermin. I, I don't give a fuck. Don't talk about... You don't fucking know me. You don't know me in real life. You're a fucking grown-ass woman, probably a grandma, and you're on fucking TikTok calling young girls vermin when you don't even fucking know them. And I, one minute, ferret face, I'm the one who fucking demodded myself from Angie and told her I don't want to be in her life. So whatever you all thinking, it's not fucking that because I, the one who fucking left, she didn't fucking fuck me off. I told her I don't want to be involved in her platform anymore. So would you say now that you're a reformed character? Top Shut girl? the fuck up, NJ. <laughs> Apology. I am not prepared to argue with anybody that that you know it's come the, the argument has come about through Pearl or Angie. <laughs> so you can argue with yourself, Top Girl. But you was all right to um, sit on a live and call me vermin. But now you, you can don't argue with it. yourself, Top Girl. Fuck off. I am, because it's because of your links, yeah, that made certain people angry with you yeah and so therefore this is why we are at lo well you're at loggerheads with me right now because of pearl and angie and right now we are both in the position we are both in the same boat whereby we can't stand these people so where's the argument now one minute the thing is that i still get along with pearl <laughs> what are you on about Where's the argument now? What you want about? I've just told you, like you're saying, oh, oh. You're two people, right? I still like I've forgiven um, Pearl yeah, for what she's forgiven me for, so I I don't get it. That's okay, but really and truly, exactly. but I've never and, told and any of have, you and, lot and to uh, you know consider have, it. Listen. Let me tell you something. I don't care what you do, yeah? Well, you clearly did because you, you had an opinion about me. I don't care what you do. You did the because you had an opinion that, about like me. Like you say, yeah, but we all have opinions, Top Girl. I call you vermin then for not sticking We're, up for the Pakistani community or the Muslim community. Fine, You're vermin. fine. But you don't know what I do on, on the outside. So you can say whatever no, you like. No, give a fuck, you vermin. You don't, you can say whatever you like. I know it's not true. So you can say whatever you like, Top Girl. And if I was wrong by calling you vermin and you know it's not true and I am wrong, then, you know, you should be sitting pretty, not like uh, carrying it on from vermin. months ago. It, say what you like. I'm in a business because I know what I am. All right? Well, I know what like I am. like fucking swearing Shep then. Do you know what I mean? Top girl. What? Can you calm down? See, please? you see, see. Because, because that is that is a, the, the the dialects that we speak in. See, one, one that minute. Is rude, no, she was know? speaking English, and then she tries to um, um so start what, speaking what, what, what is it your business? How I talk? What is it? I your can business talk what how I, I like. Do. I'm a black woman. You can't tell me how to talk, top girl. I'm not telling you. I just pointed out that you sound like You can't tell me, like, me, like you said, I a hard black tell woman, you how to, speak, how to talk. Shut up! No, you can't tell me how to talk, child. You can't no tell me how to talk, talk, child. No one told you how to talk. I said you you remind me of someone. There's a difference, child. See, see the disrespect. 
Top girl. Please, respect. Call me and you not, uh, and listen, you I'm should sure. not, girl, you when should she's not calling be me a child. disrespecting like that. When you yourself have children and you're blessed with children. Okay, yeah? grandma. It's definitely you should not, not do it. I wish I was a grandma, language. top girl. I so didn't fucking say you. that. I said thank she reminded you, me of thank someone. You, thank top you girl, for pouring girl, blessings on me. I wish I was yes. a grandma. Thank top you. Girl, top girl. Yes. Do you, what is it that you speak? You what is it, what's your other language? Is it Urdu or Punjabi or? I speak four different languages, but what's the point? Okay, so when you're, I don't know, let's not use the kids' uh, situation. Okay, so when you're cursing or you want to say something and get the point across, do you not sometimes go into one of the other languages? Mm, not when I'm already speaking to somebody. Unless, okay. it, like, on TikTok, if I want to swear at somebody and not get banana, then yeah. Yeah, th well, this is, this is what Mama G's doing. When we was young and, and we were... Oh, well, MJ, stop when... making excuses. She was talking to me no, um, in English in and then she tried to bring Patois into it. Yeah, she can... Imagine this you child can. telling me... Oh, listen, a 55-year-old woman how no I should speak. fucking telling you how to speak. I said you reminded me of a certain somebody... Yeah, and, and you, you're you mocking it now. You're mocking it, like you're saying that, oh, I changed into pots. What? So what? So what? How can you tell me how to speak? You, a child that I could give birth to. You're such an idiot. You know that. Oh, okay. You can't tell me how to speak, child. I fucking did it, Grandma. <laughs> thank you for putting those Still blessings on me because I'm wishing to be that. So thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's hope it's soon. Maybe it'll calm you down. Mm. Oh, Lord. I don't, let's I, get, let's get back no, to no, the really You keep saying, the... Top Girl, calm down. When did let's I get say... Let's back to the crux of um, things, NJ. You can't this speak isn't like important. That. I said you this reminded me of someone. NJ. She's being patronising. I... I said to you said to me come back up and I said she called me vermin for no reason she don't fucking know me um and then she was like I don't give a fuck who you talk to but then you was able to call me vermin um and said I don't speak up for my own people when the fuck have you ever spoke up for the Pakistani um community then, or the fucking what, Albanian I, community listen. or the fucking Muslim community I don't do fucking I, sit with, I don't do expect I sit with anyone to speak for me because all my community with the Muslims on the outside on why the, the fuck world. do you think I would be able do you know to speak what I mean? for like, you? I don't Even sit with the Muslims on this TikTok for me to be sticking up for them. I sit with my own people, yeah? My own people that vibe with me. She's still not getting the point. <laughs> Maybe it's fucking old age, I don't know. Talk, oh, man, that's She's so rude. rude. You've been swear you're carrying. Called me a child. I swear you're you, carrying, You can't yeah? see her, but you, you can see me. You should not be talking like that while well, carrying a child. Man. It's a bad curse. Uh, uh, how is it okay for olders to call somebody vermin, then? Yeah, but she explained to you why she said it. And, and then, I'm, and I, 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 I'm explaining why I'm calling her old. Yeah, she was basically she's calling me a child. Yeah, and she Listen, was, you calling me so how old is, that is not a We're curse. Both doing it to Let each me other. tell you something. Everybody in the comments, yeah, and you, top girl, calling somebody old is not a curse. It is a blessing. So okay, many good. people don't manage to get to this age. So please, if you're going to call me old, know that it's not a fucking curse to me. So why are you getting so high, mate? <laughs> oh my god! Where the hell did how did this even happen? So okay, right. Let's just round this up, yeah. Mama G called you vermin when you were sitting around Pearl. You're yeah. not you're not happy about that, yeah? It's but you not, have to... It was like I don't speak up for um her own people when I did the most. I did the fucking most. Yeah, I'd never heard anyone come and speak up when Tam called Torian a terrorist. Nobody fucking did except for me, because when where was Mama G's live talking about the Muslim community? I'm a Muslim. Nobody fucking stuck up for me. Yeah, I didn't fucking go around calling Mama Gia um, vermin. Mama G and Mama G is the only person that's ever cussed you, yeah? Um, excuse me, I stuck up for the Muslim community, but this is, this is silly. Yeah. This it didn't is. happen on either sides and people doing up like team this, team that in the comments, stop it. Obviously, there's a, a discussion maybe needs to be had. I don't know. I missed the start of it, but... There doesn't need to be any discussion. I didn't come up for any argument. No, I didn't see what happened. I just, 
like the comments just make it ten times worse. Well, I, nobody's looking. I, I, well, I'm certainly not looking at the comments. Do you know what I mean? Like so the, 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 the conversation is between uh, me. Um, top girl and NJ refereeing. Do you know what I mean? Can we have like, a group call? I, I just want to put my voice because I'm the daddy of this group. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone uh, got Tony. problems, come and see me first. Oh, oh. Love Tony. Tony. Thank you, Tony. 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 Jump up if you want. Who's Tony? Tony, Tony, Tony is just Tony. Tony. <laughs> yes, Tony. Yes, Tony. Tony. Thank you, Tom. I'm the daddy. I'm the daddy of this group. Yeah, do yes. mediations, Abby, please. <laughs> Come on, if somebody I, I wants to mediate, because I'm like... I just want, I just want to be happy, that's all. Yeah, life's too short. Tom, love you. Who's Tom? Love you more. Awkward. You, you're right, mate? Maybe. You sound like you're <laughs> rambling to yourself down there. What? <laughs> yeah, are you a Villa fan or a Birmingham fan? I need you to know. I'm an Arsenal fan. <laughs>